So I, I was scrolling through YouTube the other day trying to find a good video to react to, and I, and I see this title, 803 Days with No Prawns and What It Did to Me. And then I see the thumbnail, and I'm like, God damn! <laughs> <laughs> My man has ascended! <laughs> yes, he has. Wow. Is this what it does to you if you if you stay away from the prawns for a hundred uh, eight hundred and three days? Wow. Wow. So I gotta watch it. I gotta see what I gotta see what it's about. I gotta I gotta know. This comes from Greg G. He's got six thousand subscribers. Uh, this video has a million views. It just came out. Really? Who watched it? Did another YouTuber watch this? Either way, I'm, put a, I'm gonna put a link down in the des description so you can see. I didn't even notice that before. Wow. You can go watch it yourself. But yeah, we're gonna see what's the what's the big. What are the benefits, maybe? Oh, before we do, check out Dane on Buff Pro on YouTube and the Twitch. And then check out the Toasty Games channel if you want to see the live gameplay for me and Dane. Dane's also there, too. Oh, God, he's in the house. Da, 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 find that gun. I know where the gun is. Da, 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 da. I'm going to get the gun. Da, 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 going straight to it. Ah! Ah! And we are the greatest Wait. YouTubers alive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, thank, thank you for reminding me. I almost forgot that we are <laughs> the greatest YouTubers to ever exist and will forever. Like past, present, future YouTube content creation right here. You're watching it. Sigma Toastkin. Subscribe forever for life because if you don't, you're a loser. <laughs> so let us get straight to the point. What's the point? Here's my story, how I quit my porn addiction and what it did to me. Back then when I was around 16 years old, like most teenagers, I was watching a lot of adult content and simultaneously beating my meat. God, he said that. I guess that's, um... That is straight to the point. Beating my meat. <laughs> Dang, as to the point. <laughs> right, so I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be upfront about my views of it, right? My, my view is that... It is bad for you. Uh, they get the whole dopamine level thing to where like, you know, guys are programmed to go out there and try to try to smash and then you feel great about it and then you go to sleep. <laughs> so right. you go through life and, you, and you're, you're, you're hitting it, you know, you're doing your thing like eight times a day or whatever because you're 16 years old and you just you feel weird. You're like <laughs> dopamine's all out of whack. And then your brain, your expectations of what like a relationship and what like meaning a meaningful love making time is is all messed up and very skewed yeah absolutely and the fact that i think that like so many people are addicted i'm glad that i'm going to be dead and i don't have to go and look like what is trending you know <laughs> like what people are watching in 20 30 years from now right, right. hopefully i'll still be alive but, you know i'm just saying it's, it's like the more you're exposed to stuff the worse things get because you kind of got to get reach reach new highs you know and this goes and a, and a lot of things in life there's just too much access to everything that just makes you feel good instantly like there's a lot of people that have a hard time they're all depressed because they don't know like what <laughs> like what a normal feeling of happiness actually is. Right. And then you're, this is all you're given because it's all over the internet. Now your expectations are, well, this is what I have to do to be happy. This, you know, I got to be this and I got to do this and, you know, and there's no connection, man. It's like this. This is like a smaller part of like a bigger problem in my in my mind. Like, you know, you know, like the movie Wally, where you got the people like sitting in the chairs and they're just like they just get whatever they want, just like handed to them, which is great. You know, wonderful. I just I, it's, a, it's a very boomer take, I guess, of like this is like any consequences for like the way people act anymore. There's whatever you want. You can you can order it, get a subscription to it, look at it your, your phone. You got people that are like arguing these like hot topics and all the all the information they have is like some video they've seen of a random dude talking about it they got his information from a news article title they didn't actually read you know it's like <laughs> right it's like everything's just coming so fast and i don't my, i don't feel like my brain is designed to be, even be able to handle it like there's just so much information and just so much garbage <laughs> that i feel like garbage my also this is all my opinions right that i feel like your your brain is like imagine like a field it's your brain and you're a farmer Those are your hands. whatever you plant in that farm is what's going to grow so if you're watching terrible news things all the time and you're like like you're on your twitter like oh my god i don't know anything about this but i i'm very passionate about it and i want to talk about it all the time it's going to take over your mind you're going to talk about it with everyone it's it's going to consume you and the same thing for porn addiction and whatever it is is there's just so much and i don't feel like people either are they're not aware or they just don't care about what content they're consuming and how it actually affects their lives right <sighs> i agree with that 100 percent. it's like <laughs> it's that whatever energy you're putting out into the universe that's what you're going to attract I, like, Very I, philosophical I, I, discussion we're yeah, having here. Yeah, it's, it's weird, <laughs> 23 man. seconds. Because yeah, it's not it's, like it's, I, I haven't watched porn before. You know what I mean? I, I've watched porn and, you know. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> but I've also <laughs> known some people, man, who like literally are like, that's, they've got their phone out. That's what's on it. 
And and, yeah, and I, right. I'm not and I'm not that guy. You know, and I, I've just never been like you said. It's too accessible. Too much of anything is a bad thing. I just it just it's it's so far. Porn is so far from just real life. It's it's anything. Anything in moderation is fine. There's, there's too much of a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's go back to the video, I guess. <laughs> is this even healthy? Shortly after searching something like, is porn bad for me or is masturbation bad for me? I can't exactly remember what I searched. I stumbled upon so-called NoFap, a community of dudes that <laughs> say no to porn. Wait, NoFap, hang on, wait, are we, are we getting inducted? Is this a joke at this point? Like, what is that? Is, that, is this real? Are we doing a cult? What is this? So here are the main obstacles that I had and how I overcame those and the benefits that I got from all of this. Yes. I was relapsing a lot. My typical relapse cycle would begin by me going for just a peek, as it is referred <laughs> in NoFap community. You get a little peek, you know, you wow. get a little peek and you get that you get that feeling, you know, and then all of a sudden, well, well it's time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go search like, all right, just a, just a nip slip, you know, just, <laughs> just a nip slip. All right, obstacle one is relapse. You know, you, you, you see you see that one TikTok, like that bootylicious girl, and you're like, hmm, mm. now I'm kind of in the mood to go look at some other stuff, you know, all right. I started to distract myself whenever I got the urges to go for just a peek. I would typically start exercising, start watching a video, or simply go outside. Can you imagine, as a young man, every time that you want to do that deed, you just go exercise? Or go outside. What is that dude's name? That's what that's what this guy did. That it's it's oh Sam, the, the TikTok sensation. Dude's like I, I think I don't even know how old he is, early twenties, and he's ripped out of his whole goddamn brain. Now he's juiced to the gills, obviously, but still, <laughs> this guy he he's the leader of the no fap group, and every time he feels like he's got the need, he just goes and exercises. Swole, <laughs> yeah. incredible Hulk. <laughs> You can't really beat your meat when you are outside. Those distractions kind of... Yeah, well, you'd be surprised about some people out there, right? <laughs> so one thing I was thinking about here is that <clears throat> I do remember being a young man and discovering the internet and, you know, all the things you can find on the internet. And the the truth is something we talked about already, like how things progress. And he talked about in the video, too. I remember the feeling, like the excitement mm -hmm. of like looking at it at first and be like, oh, Oh my God, you know, like, whoa. And then he progressed to the point to where you're just like, two hours later, you're still trying to find like that perfect video. Right. <laughs> and before everybody <laughs> starts talking, can you marry? I know, but I've also lived a whole life of not being married also. You know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> a whole life. I mean, <laughs> I haven't always been married. Okay. I know. I know. I've, I can relate. That's all I'm saying. Until I changed one thing. What did he change? I made myself believe that I don't have urges to fap. I have urges to simply have sex. Sounds stupid. Yeah, it maybe is. Hmm. But did it work? Absolutely. Hey, it works. So you're like every time you want, it's like I don't, I don't want to just watch this. I want to go get me some. And then I guess he cried because I don't. Yeah, you know. did he go work out after that? Like what <laughs> yeah, happened? What, what happened? What I was. <laughs> yeah. But as soon as I began the process of changing my mindset about all of this situation, and actually imagined how fucking pathetic I look from the side whenever I'm just sitting on the toilet and beating on my meat. I'm not gonna ask, but mm -mm. is that what people do? They just sit on the toilet and hmm. Hmm. not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an uncomfortable spot, you know. Yes, yeah, just sitting on the toilet, and I just took a massive yeah. slam. I got a. I don't think Blinkins no. were ever in my in my plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what he said there, like changing changing your mindset. That's like a huge part of anything in life. I mean, quite literally, very much literally. There are a couple of outliners that some things you can't control, but everything that you can control in your life, you control. You. <laughs> like you want to be healthier, nothing's stopping you. You For know, sure. people be like, well, I can't afford to, I can't afford to, da, da, da. you can, you can still make changes. You can sit no matter what your situation right is and do some blanks. Th the only <laughs> thing stopping you from making these better changes in your life is not doing it all yourself. A, a lot of people feel like they can't do anything and they're stuck in a rut, but literally the only thing keeping them from doing anything is themselves. Yep. Now, of course you got like my, oh, my job and stuff like that, that where there's other people affecting it. You can, th there's still room to make changes in those too. It's just a lot harder to do. Right. Uh, but like mindset is everything. Like literally it's everything. Like even you got, there's like, there's like books and people like talk about this stuff all the time. Like they start hanging around like successful people and then, then they themselves become successful, not just because they're networking and like they have access to more things, just like their mindset changes. Absolutely. And again, you can, you can in the comment section, there's people probably be like, well, actually, you know, let me give you this certain scenario. Yeah, I know. But in general, that stuff, that stuff is true. 
I can become a better YouTuber by hanging out with good YouTubers. Yeah. Because we talk about things and mindset changes and none, none, none. Anyway, you get it. As cliche as it might sound, it was all about my mindset. During those five years while I was trying to quit this habit for good, I watched countless videos about tricks and tactics, how to control the urges, what to do when you have the urges. Uh, the thing about this, they're talking about like, no, like, this is coming out in November, so no fat November is kind of the joke of this video coming out, right? Right. But like, don't touch yourself ever thing. That's that's a little weird to me. Like having urges is natural. Mm -hmm. Watching hours of pornography is not natural. Right. <laughs> the, the, the safest sex is self sex is what our sex ed teacher always told us. And, <laughs> and so you know you got you got to squeeze one out. Whatever you know. That's I no shame in that. But that's not that's not the problem. Anything in moderation is fine. When you do all those devious activities, you get a huge dopamine spike. Ah, there and it then is. When you're done, your dopamine levels drop below then you go sleep. the baseline, yep. so you become less motivated and basically can't do as much as you could. And thanks to quitting this habit for good, my baseline of dopamine also increased. That means I. That's like that's the big thing they always talk about when it comes to stuff is your dopamine uh because it's that's, that's literally what you're chasing like there's there's another thing that's involved like whatever nervous system or something like you're, the stimulation part of it but like the the hit you get you're like oh yeah and then you're like you know post nut clarity like you just like mm -hmm. that <laughs> you, you say if i don't watch any 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 bad stuff then i'll like i'll like exercising more that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah I it's almost know. like this is saying the, the less you do it the more you enjoy your life in general which is extreme but also makes sense at the same time oh well, if that's all you're doing too especially you know what i mean that's a lot of sleep to get in there <laughs> <laughs> no why can you have time to do anything else that's a lot of sleep yeah i don't want to go exercise and run i'm freaking raw from <laughs> <laughs> freaking step mom in the washer again god dang it again <laughs> I noticed that I started to do other good habits right after I quit this habit for good. I started to meditate, express gratitude, which helped me a lot to get into a better headspace. I quit mm. playing video games. What? What? You quit playing? Okay, well, never mind. It's all, it's all off the table. Give me, <laughs> I gotta go to the hub right now. I can't quit playing video games. I love my video games. Like I, I, I do need... I'm the kind of person... I was talking about in the last video of like my, my, my high-functioning anxiety or whatever to where like... I don't stop thinking about stuff. And yeah. so playing video games is like a very good escape for me. Like it get, like almost gives my, my mind a break. You gotta have those. Like self gratification was a, a very big thing for me because I'm, I'm also quite cynical and I think about the worst that could happen so that I'm prepared for the worst. It's, you know, part, part of anxiety, whatever. Yeah. And so I just, one thing that really helped improve my mental health was just being thankful for stuff just the simple things like i have this remote that turns my light on and off that's great hooray and just being like yay about that like yeah. it's like just so stupid little simple things that you would you think is silly but just doing that changed just how negative i was being and right. helped well, a, a because bunch. then you start to practice finding the positive things right like yeah. you, you, you practice that is what it's doing and and yeah it's a good mindset thing it's a trick it's practice. It's a trick. It's it's like your your mental field. You've planted positivity, and now you're reaping the positivity. Wow! But <laughs> this guy's talking about his whole. His, like, it sounds like this dude just became a normal functioning person <laughs> over his over his experience with this. <laughs> yeah. Like I just became a regular dude finally. Was it worth it? Yes, one hundred percent. I didn't 100. get any superpowers after I he passed start flying? two years three. Dude, that's like the whole that's the whole joke. Yeah, you know? I know like, you can. I know you, you can. You, uh, dude, you, you ascend to another level. Come on, man. <laughs> but I became a better person for sure. God, that, is that him? Jesus Christ! What just happened? You're, you're thirst trapping. Look, people, they just got a peek right now. Trust me, it works. And when you get to my level, when you just forget that porn and masturbation is a thing, you will just look back at you. When you get to the master level like this guy has gotten, when you when you become the the no fap overlord, the god, then you will thank him. <laughs> Stay strong, comrades. We all gonna make it. <laughs> People talking about their addictions in here. Oh, man. My man just sounded like he's got a, an addictive personality. He had to quit video games and and, <laughs> right. and and porn all at the same time. Pretty nuts. But I mean, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff in there that actually applies to a lot of things in life. I think that's that's, a, that's true. The, the whole mindset thing's a Jedi mind trick, dude. I like it. Hope it shines some light on your life. You know, maybe maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe you can make some changes for the better. No, I'm not saying you got to quit watching porn or anything, but just in, in general, maybe. Maybe your life will be improved by some mindset things. Hopefully, maybe not. At least you're entertained. Right? Right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay toast, my friends. Olivia, see you next time. Bye-bye.